If you're a dog owner or a cat owner and hate having to deal with fur, or you simply hate vacuuming your entire house, I definitely recommend watching this video because I'm gonna be talking about an amazing new RoboVac, and this is the 360S7 Pro. Let's get right into it. So I've actually owned a RoboVac in the past a few years ago and I stopped using it because I found it really frustrating. It was simpler just to pick up a cordless stick vacuum and vacuum my entire room. I was using kind of like the Anchor Eufy type of RoboVacs and I found them to be very unreliable because they would always, always get stuck on simple little things. For some reason it just didn't work very well and it did not sweep my entire area because it was using a very basic primitive algorithm kind of like a zigzag algorithm to kind of cover the entire space. And that never really worked. It would get stuck and it would maybe focus on room. Now with this new RoboVac, the 360 S7 Pro, I was extremely impressed with the results. Intuitively, it was very easy to set up. All I did was download the app, connect it through Wi-Fi, and I just clicked the button, literally clicked the button, and then it started analyzing my entire condo, my little, little condo, it's about 530 square feet. But it's very, it's a very complex condo. There's so many different little obstacles. There's a chair, it's very tight. It's not like a big house. So I would actually argue that in a little condo, it's very, very difficult for this type of RoboVac to actually be very, um, be able to detect everything. So with one click of a button, it was able to detect my entire, scan my entire condo. And I was very impressed. It was almost like I was looking at the layout plan of my condo from the app. Another thing I noticed as it was sweeping or vacuuming my entire house, was that it was very quiet. So it was, it did, I didn't mind having it running while I was like watching, a t watching TV or doing some work. It was very quiet, very gentle, and it did not annoy me to run at all. So that is obviously something that you can change. If you want it to switch to maybe standard mode or turbo max mode, you definitely will hear it. It's gonna be a lot more quiet. So it obviously will do a better job on carpets and stuff like that. But I found that quiet was actually a perfect balance between quiet operation and decent performance. It was able to pick up a lot of dirt. Another thing I noticed when I was actually unboxing this RoboVac was that how heavy and big it was. And I don't mean that in a bad way. What I mean by heavy, I mean it just felt like it was a quality build. It felt like it was very strong. And I noticed that when I flipped it on the other side, it had these really large wheels. And I think that was the key aspect of this RoboVac that allowed it to maneuver through all the obstacles in my house. Because it was very easy to go over, like say, big bumps, or if it got stuck or trapped on, it, let's say, an edge or a corner, it was always able to pull out and just redirect. I also found that the RoboVac's profile was actually rather thin, so it was able to maneuver underneath my sofa or underneath my couch. And this is very critical because it's very difficult to use a cordless vacuum, a stick vacuum, to go vacuum underneath your sofa because it's very hard to get in the middle. Same with a bed. From my experience, there's tons of dust bunnies that collect underneath my bed and underneath my sofa. So thankfully, this RoboVac, although it is, it is like I said before, it is big and it's very heavy, I found that it was very thin and very easy to maneuver underneath tight surfaces. So in terms of the actual vertical height of this, it is very thin. I'm also very happy to report that this RoboVac is very gentle on your furniture. I noticed that when it tried to kind of go on edges of furniture or touch the wall, it was very gentle. It wouldn't slam, kind of like my previous RoboVacs in the past. It had some very good mechanism to prevent it from slamming on any different type of wall. And if it ever did hit something like, let's say a wall, it never left any scuffs and it has a very forgiving bumper on it so it would absorb all the impact. Nothing will be damaged in your room. For optimal results, I definitely recommend picking up any loose items on the floor, such as wires or any small rugs. It may get caught on that. So definitely, it, it's not a big deal. All you gotta do is just scan your room, pick up any loose items, and you can be very confident that it will, it'll scan your entire area, perform the sweep in all areas, and cover it with perfect accuracy. Now, in terms of the actual power and the suction power, I found it to be very impressive. When I put it to turbo max mode, I can really hear the motor going and it's very loud. It means it's doing a really tough job. This becomes especially important if you have high pile carpet. Let's say your carpet is really thick and there's a lot of like dirt that's kind of built in. You definitely want that high section power and this RoboVac definitely provides it. When it navigates between hardware or thick carpet, it had no problem going over little bumps and edges. I was actually very impressed it was able to go over some really thick rugs in my area. I found that it was very very maneuverable in just almost every aspect of what it's doing. 
Now, in terms of the durability of this Robovac, I have to say I'm very impressed with the build quality. As I said before, it feels very heavy and very kind of thick. It feels like it's like built like a tank. So it's definitely going to take a beating. One thing I noticed with my previous Robovax is that the brush, the front brush spinner, which is responsible for capturing dirt, kind of like an arm collector. I found that the brush was made of very high quality. After many weeks of usage, I've been using this pretty much every day for, a, for quite a long time. I noticed that the brushes haven't really deteriorated at all. So you probably don't have to replace them that often. Now, one of the coolest features after you see it on your actual phone, the entire layout of your of your, all the rooms you've made, I don't know how it is actually works. I know it's using LiDAR technology and sophisticated algorithms in order to generate a map of your entire house. But I was just very impressed that you could simply, let's say you just want to do room three, let's say your bedroom, you can say, hey, just do room three and do your job and then go back to your charging station. And it was just so all all inspiring just to see this Robovac kind of just travel along my entire house and then make it to my room, sweep that entire room and then run back all the way across the entire side of the house to towards the charging dock. So I was just completely wowed by this technology. It's absolutely impressive. And most importantly, like I said before, I didn't have to do any kind of setup. I didn't have to set up boundaries. It just simply scanned my entire room and I was done. The setup was that simple. Now, as you can see in these images here, you can see there's a lot of hair tangled up in the roller brush. And this is a very good sign that it's actually picking up a lot of dirt, a lot of things that you would not otherwise have done if you were vacuuming manually. Because it's using a very wide approach, it's covering all the surface area of your entire uh, home or house. This is actually a very thorough job. I found that sometimes when I'm using my cordless vacuum, I would definitely miss a spot. This picks up everything. Now, in terms of the sensors, the main one we're all talking about is the LiDAR sensor. And it's this little top little cylinder thing that kind of peeps out. And what it does, it spins continuously really fast. And you can see this technology in automated cars like an Uber. This is amazing. You have AI technology, advanced algorithms, and LiDAR technology in a RoboVac. What a world we've come to. This is ty the type of stuff we would see in autonomous cars. And now it's in our vacuums. We don't have to do any more work. It's all autonomous. It's pretty amazing. The future is getting more bright. Now, in terms of other sensors, if you live in a house with a lot of stairs, there is definitely the edge drop detection, uh, anti-drop detection. Basically, your Robovac isn't going to fall down a bunch of stairs. This is old technology, so it's not a big surprise, but it works totally fine in this for this specific vacuum. The 360 S7 Pro has a really neat feature and that's the mop, mopping feature. What I really like about this is that you're able to sweep your entire house like vacuum it. But also if you have pets in your house and maybe they come in or maybe you have kids or people just don't like to take off their shoes when they come in the house and they went in the mud or you know it's kind of snowing, you're gonna have all these marks all over your floor. And for me, I like to have a clean floor that doesn't have any dust or hair or dirt or debris. That's obviously nice, but I also like to look at my hardwood flooring or laminate flooring so that it looks really nice. It just It's just very clear of any kind of mucky dirt and stuff like that that's stuck on through the outside elements. So what's nice about this, it includes a mop and you can use any microfiber you want, but of course it includes a microfiber. You fill the chamber with water, you simply attach it on. It's very simple to put it on and off and then you just kind of continue sweeping, vacuuming as you would but with the added addition of it mopping your entire floor. Now, this is amazing. Not only is it going to sweep, but it's going to mop your entire floor. This is absolutely fantastic. I'm very impressed with how easy and how well it works. Cleaning makes me happy. So let's talk about maintenance and cleaning this actual device, because if you want the optimal results, it's very important that you have an easy cleaning process. And one thing I really like about this was emptying the canister, the bin, the dust bin, and cleaning the HEPA filters was extremely easy. It wasn't convoluted. It wasn't like I had to do a million steps. You can simply remove the HEPA filter and you can wash it through water, let it dry, put it back in, empty the canister, and you can just remove any hair. I found that process very, very easy compared to some other vacuums out there that require you to unbun untangle a bunch of things, unravel a bunch of things. Cleaning was really simple. All you have to do is open up the cover, take out the bin, and obviously clean it as you would. And what's really cool about this design is that it has a cool lid. The cover is actually like kind of a lid to everything. And there you can obviously access things like the Wi-Fi status and the, of course, the dustbin. Now this Robovac is a smart Robovac by first nature, which means is that it is totally integrated into the app experience. And this gives you a multitude of cool features. For example, what you can do is you can target a specific room, as I mentioned before, or you can try different modes. You can put it in remote control so you can just control them, um, the vacuum from your phone. The app is very simple to use. 
obviously, like I said before, very easy to set up as well. But it's just amazing how this is actually a very smart RoboVac. Some RoboVacs, you know, they still have a remote or it's very manual or they have some basic uh, Wi-Fi smart, smart integration. This is a fully fledged smartphone app and it has so many features. One of my other favorite features is the scheduling feature. So let's say you want to routinely clean your house maybe every day or every other day, you can set that and you don't have to do anything about that. Everything's automated. Obviously clear out your wires before you do that. The 360 S7 Pro has support for the Alexa voice assistant. All you have to do is call the command and it will start sweeping without even having touched a single button. So in conclusion, I have to admit the 360 S7 Pro has really rekindled my love and fascination for Robovax. In the past, they've been very unreliable and it kind of gave me a very scarred experience. I didn't really like them, but now with this new LiDAR technology, things have become really improved and I definitely recommend that you try it out because you're going to get a very reliable Robovac that isn't going to get stuck. It's not going to act dumb and like not know how to go back to the charger. From my experience, this has been a life-changing experience. All I have to do right now is sit on a couch, push a button, and I'm pretty much have cleaned my cleaned, swept and mopped my entire house. Anyways, thanks for watching this video. Please let me know down below in the comments what you guys think about the current generation of Robovacs. Have they immensely improved your life? I'm really curious to know. See you in the next video.